Welcome to yet another video review of our, on our channel. This time about a new Swarovski X5 3.5 to 18 by 15. Uh, as you probably know, in 2015, uh, Swarovski has presented these scopes at SHOT Show and EVA Show. And the main philosophy of these scopes is that you're able to hunt with them, but they also offer long range capabilities for long range hunting and even capabilities for target shooting. That means higher magnification, nicer, finer clicks and more elevation. Uh, there are two models uh, in this line. So 3.5 to 18 by 50 and 5 to 25 by 56. Both of these two models come with illuminated or non-illuminated reticles. This particular model that we have here has an illuminated reticle, so it has a big housing on the eyepiece, like it's uh, similar like with Z6 and um, Z8. Uh, it has a 30 millimeter tube, so it's really easy to mount it. It is really well made, very robust. You can use it on any kind of caliber. People at Swarovski say that you can even use it on 50 BMG, and I would believe them. Uh, the scope is 37 centimeters long, it weighs 810 grams and it has a couple of really neat features. It has a really nice parallax on a side focus, it really works smooth and it has a really nice ring for magnification um, markings. So you are always able to see on which magnification the scope is set. Uh, normally it has a fast focus and it's fully waterproof, it's fog proof and really well made. It comes with a 10 years warranty. Um, really nice manual for the scope. Also this manual carries information about the warranty and very unique information about how to reset the turrets. Then a manual for the, um, for the reticle, a multi-tool. This is a tool which is needed to reset the turrets and a sunshade, a cleaning cloth. Uh, all the reticles in this scope uh, come with uh, in the second focal plane, so they're located here. And you can get them with different styles. This particular one has a um, 4WX reticle with these subtensions, but these subtensions with these hashes, these hashes are only true at one specific magnification, not at all because the reticle is set in the second focal plane. So this is not a tactical scope, it's a pure hunting target scope, I would say long range hunting or long range uh, target shooting. Uh, uh, illumination can be really finely tuned for any kind of low light condition so these scopes are really usable on uh, for hunting not only for target shooting if you go to the turrets this is the biggest change for the Swarovski this is one of their first model with tactical style turrets even though the scope is not a tactical scope uh, you have one quarter of MOA clicks approximately 7 millimeters on 100 meters. You can also get a model with 1 8 of an MOA. Uh, 20 MOA for revolution and multi-turn indicator. You can see the numbers below here. So when you go from the first turn to the second, you see that indicator shows you the number. Like this and it goes all the way to 5. And this scope even has a special feature that when you come to zero, it has a zero stop. Normally you see it stops. When you come to zero, you can move this ring up or down and then you can go even below zero. That means if your scope is zeroed at 300 meters, you can easily go below zero for shots on 100 meters, for instance. The system is quite complicated, but it works. Uh, the turrets are extremely well made. The build quality is really good and the clicks are nice, crisp and audible. All stars for Swarovski in this account. The same goes for the 
for the vintage turret. It really works, works nice. And due to the effort invested into the development of these turrets and design, Swarovski claims that uh, this scope has almost perfect tracking. That means no error. It doesn't matter how many clicks you make. They even have a patent pending design of the erector stabilization. They have a really unique system of the spring which holds the erector. So perfect tracking is the result. Um, they also feature a very nice video on YouTube how to re-zero this turret but I have to be honest that I think that their system of resetting the turret to zero it's quite complicated compared to other uh, turrets on the market. If I make a short summary uh, I think that philosophy behind X5 scopes so long-range hunting in the first place and then also possibilities for target shooting is really good since there is a big market of hunters who would like to have a scope which is a normal usable scope in all hunting situations but on the other hand when you should want to shoot uh, on longer ranges it offers you additional capabilities to do so so I think this is a really good philosophy and I also think that this particular model with 3.5 to 18 by 50 with its smaller size and wider field of view maybe even better covers this philosophy than the bigger model 5 to 25. Uh, I also have to say that the build quality is really good and the optics is superb. I have tested the scopes in the field a couple of times and I really like them. They have no tunnel effect, really good edge sharpness and also the sensor sharpness. Where are still room, where is still room for improvement? I think the turrets could have a locking mechanism. I think that the um, below zero function is something what rarely who, rarely anyone will use. Uh, so it makes the turrets a little bit more complicated, but I think that majority of people will not use this function. I also think that uh, it would be a good smart solution to make uh, resetting zero a bit easier because um, uh, with this multi-tool and everything you need quite a couple of minutes to re-zero the turret we have seen by other manufacturers that it can be done easier other from that it's a really perfect scope for any hunter who wants to try long range hunting or even target shooting from time to time Thank you for watching. If you will need any additional information, please do not hesitate to use comments on this YouTube channel, to visit our webpage or to send us an email.